Right, I just wanted to make this video real quick, just to let people understand what they're getting themselves into, or maybe what they're getting their children into. So pectus carinatum, it affects the breathing. We already, we know this, if you look into it, there's links between like pectus carinatum and dyspnea, I don't know how to pronounce it, but like shortness of breath, rapid breathing. Pectus carinatum has multiple links to Marfan syndrome, Noonan syndrome, all that have heart problems okay so these are it has many links to other things that have heart problems so if you have pectus carinatum you're already at, uh, you're more likely to have heart problems if you've got pectus carinatum right but then people are going and getting a brace and then pushing their chest back in now one centimeter in your anatomy is a lot if you push your if your chest is meant to come out a certain amount then you're pushing it back in what do you think that's going to do now you can find stuff online and it says about you know the skin rashes and the consequences of that there aren't many you know it's the non-surgical way of correcting your pectus carinatum and it's only cosmetic that's it's only cosmetic the brace isn't actually going to help anything it's just going to help your mind cope with the fact that you have a deformity so before you go and give your kid a brace, or maybe you've got pectus carinatum yourself, maybe before you get yourself a brace, think about what you're doing on the inside, yeah? Because they talk about the short-term effects, like rashes or, and, and skin discoloration. But what about the long-term effects? I haven't found anything regarding the long-term effects of actually your... Not to mention, it, it's actually unsuccessful a lot of the times. You know, if, you, if you're too old, if you're like over 16... It's, you're more likely to have it not be successful, but you're actually you're just you're jumping into the unknown. You're pushing your body, you're constricting your body like shh, you're putting your body back in unnaturally. If you're really that concerned, you should work out. You should exercise. Maybe you should just like hold your chest, it like tense your abs because when you tense your abs, it brings it in. So you could just do that for hours a day, and it's actually the same. And you don't have to go out and spend all the money on a brace. And you don't have to have something unnaturally push your sternum, which is already overgrowth. It's all, there's already too much sternum. There's already too much cartilage there. Now you're pushing it into your body. You're pushing it into where your heart is. And we already are more likely to have heart problems. And then you're pushing it, pushing your sternum into your heart. If anyone has any information on why it's not as bad as I'm making it out to be, please comment. But if I were you, I would not get the brace and I would deal with it naturally.